This is the number of gifts that my true love gave to me at the end of 12 days of Christmas, while this is the number of gifts that she gave me at the end of 12,000 days of Christmas. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, she gave me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day, she gave me three gifts followed by two gifts followed by one gift. This pattern repeats on the 12th day, as well as the 12,000th day. How many gifts did my true love give to me at the end of 12,000 days? On the first day of Christmas, I get one gift. On the second day of Christmas, I get three gifts. On the third day of Christmas, I get six gifts. But it's not obvious how many gifts I got on the 12th day, and even less obvious how many I got on the 12,000th day. Let's calculate the number of gifts that my true love gave to me on the 12th day. The sum from 1 to 12 in ascending order is the same as that in the descending order. When we add the sums together, we get two copies of the same sum. When we add 12 to 1, we get 13. When we add 11 to 2, we get 13. And when we add 10 to 3, we get 13 as well. Continuing the pattern, each pair of terms gives us 13. Since we added 12 pairs of terms, the total over here is 12 copies of 13. This means 2 times of the original sum equals 12 times 13. Taking half on both sides, we obtain the sum equaling half times 12 times 13. This works on any day of Christmas. The sum from 1 to n in ascending order is the same as that in descending order. Adding the two sums gives us two copies of the original sum. Adding the first pair of terms gives us n plus 1. Adding the second pair of terms gives us n plus 1. Adding the third pair of terms gives us n plus 1. And the pattern repeats for each of the n pairs of terms. Since we added up n pairs, we get n copies of n plus 1. This means that 2 times of the original sum equals n times n plus 1. Taking half on both sides, the sum of numbers equals half times n times n plus 1. We can simplify this expression with a little bit of algebra. We can place the n on the left and the n plus 1 on the top. n multiplied by n gives us n squared. n multiplied by 1 gives us n n times n plus 1, therefore, simplifies to n squared plus n. We can repeat the calculation placing half on the left and n squared plus n on the top. This means the product equals half n squared plus half n. This is true on any day of Christmas. In particular, on the 12th day of Christmas, we obtain half times 12 squared plus half times 12 number of gifts. And on the 12,000th day of Christmas, we obtain half times 12,000 squared plus half times 12,000 number of gifts. Returning to the original problem, let's calculate the number of gifts that we get on each day. How many gifts do we have on the first day of Christmas? We have a formula to calculate this in general. And using this convenient formula, the answer is half times 1 squared plus half times 1. Things get interesting on the later days. On the second day of Christmas, we get half times 2 squared plus half times 2 number of gifts. On the third day of Christmas, we get half times 3 squared plus half times 3 number of gifts. On the 12th day of Christmas, we substitute n equals to a 12, and on the 12,000th day of Christmas, we substitute n equals to 12,000. All that remains is to add up these terms. But this seems like a rather challenging task to do. For the first row of numbers, we can pull out the common factor half, And for the second row of numbers, we can pull out the common factor half as well. The first term is half times the sum of the first 12,000 numbers. 
This is precisely one half times 12,000 squared plus half times 12,000. The second term is the sum of the first 12,000 squares. But we don't have a formula for this. Can we try to find such a formula? We can take our cues from the formula for the sum of numbers. Since we added up numbers to obtain a power of 2, by adding up squares, we probably would obtain a power of 3. For this formula to work, it had better work with the sum of the first square. This should work if we substitute n equals to 1. Calculating the sum of the first two squares, we should be able to substitute n equals to 2. Likewise, for the sum of 3 squares, we substitute n equals to 3. And for 4 squares, we substitute n equals to 4. It's not too difficult to calculate these numbers and apply a little bit of equation solving techniques to obtain a equaling one third, b equaling a half, c equaling one over six, and d equaling zero. But how do we know that this pattern actually continues? On the left side, we're going to manually add up the squares and on the right side, we're going to use the formula to calculate what we think is the sum of the squares. Let's test it out for the sum of the first five squares. On the left side, our answer is 55. On the right side, our answer is 55 as well. If we calculate the sum of the first six squares, both sides add up to 91. If we calculate the sum of the first seven squares, both sides add up to 140. And adding number after number, both sides seem to equal each other. But does the pattern really continue even for really large numbers like 12,000? In other words, when we add the first k plus 1 squares, is the result the same formula as when we were to substitute n equals to k plus 1? If we know that the pattern holds for the previous number k, we should be able to substitute the first k squares with a similar formula. But can we check that both sides of the equation check out? With a little bit of algebra, whose details are in the document in the description box below, both sides equal each other and the pattern really does continue. The technical term for this is proving by mathematical induction, which is a fancy way of saying that the pattern is proven to continue. But returning to the original problem, each day's number of gifts is the sum of the first n numbers and can be calculated using a simple formula. We simply need to add up these numbers to answer the question. We can factor half from each row of terms and the first term is the sum of the first 12,000 numbers. We have a formula for that, that is half times 12,000 squared plus half times 12,000. The second term is the sum of the first 12,000 squares. This time, we also have a formula for these squares. Plugging this entire expression into our calculator, we would obtain 288 billion, 72 million, and 4,000 gifts after 12,000 days of Christmas. Using this same idea, we can actually calculate the total number of gifts after 12 days of Christmas. Replacing 12,000 with 12, we obtain 364 gifts. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays everyone, and this is my Christmas gift to you.